David James for Life the Basic Manual. We're on this track running through the Rhinogs or Rhinog Mountains in southern Snowdonia. This is part of a track from the coast which is five or six miles that away. Inland is that way, northwest Wales. This track is possibly an old drover's track, could even be pre-Roman, it's that old. Quite a well-defined track. It runs along the side of this wall for several miles inland. We've walked from a farm a couple of miles back towards the coast. And the farm is called Miser Garneth, which in Welsh I think means field of cairns. Kind of fits in with our Thin Places playlist in that it's a very ancient site. Back in the 1600s, there was a chap called Colonel John Jones, and he, he was kind of given the name Miser Garneth as a, as a surname by his people that knew him. Um, and he was part of the committee that, along with Oliver Cromwell, were, was responsible for beheading Charles I, the King of England, in 1649. Um, I find it astonishing that from the middle of nowhere, this tiny little farm in the very isolated part of northwest Wales, a person has come along and become part of the political landscape of the UK back in 1640s, 1650s. And actually, Colonel John Jones ended up marrying um, Oliver Cromwell's sister and was, you know, part of running the country back then. And... The farmer that lives there now is still related. It's you know it's originally his family, been there for hundreds of years. So, some history in this place. Quite interesting place, and um, a great privilege for us to be able to walk along this track. And as I'm walking along, I'm kind of thinking, you know, one day this John Jones has set off from this this farm, probably walked along this track, heading towards London. You know, and what were his thoughts on that day that he set out and uh, ended up the accumulation was to behead the King of England. You know, and I've walked along that same path today and it um, inspires some thoughts.